Good morning. Welcome back to the Pennine Way. Day number nine. So, day number nine sees me leave the Yorkshire Dales National Park behind. Goodbye Yorkshire Dales, it's been a blast, as you'll know if you watched yesterday's video. And today I make my way from Tan Hill, where I was dropped off by the taxi this morning, over to Middleton in Teesdale. A distance of around 17 and a half miles. So, I'm looking forward to getting into Middleton in Teesdale. I've been craving pizza all week. And I have it on good authority that there's a good takeaway pizza place there. So, if that's the case, I shall be sampling that tonight. Right, I'm expecting a boggy one today. I think we've hit, we're, we're starting to hit the boggier parts of the Peak, of the peak District, no, of the Pennine Way. Um, so, we'll see what that brings, shall we? Right, let's get on with today. Let's go and do it. So I've managed to keep my shoes really clean all week. That's definitely going to change on today's walk. <laughs> So apologies again folks, yesterday's video is going to be late again today. I'm afraid that um, Wi-Fi and 4G ain't made it round these here parts. And I don't even think 3G has made it to some of the parts that we'll be going to later on in the walk. <laughs> so we'll see what we can do when it comes to uh, uploading the daily videos. all just a little bit featureless at the moment. I'm glad it's a clear day. So, weather update time. Today is looking okay. Won't be as warm as yesterday, but it's looking reasonably dry. Tomorrow, again, looks okay. Fast forward to Sunday when I tackle the mighty cross fell and it's definitely looking questionable. Um, I'm waiting with bated breath as to whether the Pennine Way God of Weather is deciding to unleash hell on me on Sunday as I tackle cross fell. Hopefully he won't and he'll continue to look after me in the way he has done so far. So if you're watching this Pennine Way God of Weather Pretty please, look after me when I go over Crossfell. <laughs> so I've left the moors behind for now. Slight home moor, I think they're called. Um, and a much easier walking track. I imagine those, um, those moors are extremely bleak. Um, in the worst of weathers. The only thing that broke the monotony of that up was I bumped into a couple that were heading over towards Tan Hill and they were really interested to hear about my Pennine Way adventure. Um, they did ask me if I was planning on doing the spine race next. Uh, I very politely told them no. <laughs> So I'm about five miles in today and that last few miles over the farm track there just flew by. Um, I've climbed up onto the top slightly now with a, got a fantastic view down below of the, uh, the valley there and I've also got a decent 4G signal so I think I'm going to stop here for a bit of a leg stretch and see if I can upload yesterday's video. If I can't do it here I might just have to wait till I get into the accommodation but let's see. That could be nasty, um, if you're not looking what you're doing when you walk through that gate there. <laughs> that definitely put pay to your Pennine Way trip. So this is the point where there are two routes you can take down the Pennine Way. I think that way takes you to Bowes, it's called the Bowes Loop. Um, I'm off to God's Bridge, which I think is the boggier way, but I don't need to go to Bowes for anything, so we'll uh, 
God's Bridge sounds far more interesting anyway. <laughs> How cool is that? I'm just walking through the underpass that uh, safely negotiates you across the busy A66. A road that obviously takes you from the northeast over to the Lake District, or Cumbria, etc. Floating bog. A couple more cooked breakfasts and I'd be straight through that. <laughs> this is a nice find. Just down from the moors, uh, what looks like a shooter's cabin, but it does say shelter on the side. Uh, let's have a look inside, shall we? Not bad. I imagine this is quite a nice uh, find on a, uh, a really wet day, walking across those moors. Quite a bit of... Uh, um, Writing on the wall from previous uh, Pennine Way walkers, by the look of it. Oh, looks like someone's uh, left a, a gas canister there. Um, yeah, they've packed too many, so they've left it if anyone else wants it. So, uh, George, if you stumble across this uh, cabin uh, tomorrow on your way through here and you're running low on gas, Looks like you can help yourself to that one. I think I'm going to take my, the weight off my feet for 10 minutes in here um, and uh, have a bit of food and uh, read some of this uh, uh, this writing from the people who've walked the Panama Way previously. Cool, I have more blisters than I have feet. <laughs> Wi-Fi code, yeah, that would come in useful. I'm having a mare trying to upload that video from yesterday. Yes, that's the most important piece of sign on there. I'll keep it clean and tidy. So I've really enjoyed reading um, what people have wrote on this wall. And I've been reflecting a bit, really. I'm just sitting here thinking of all the people who've crossed past here, stopped in here as they've been walking the Pennine Way. There's some really interesting motivational messages on there. And I wish I'd got a pen. I know that I'd have wrote my own um, memory on there uh, that I may be able to visit again someday in the future. But before I set out on the Pennine Way, um, if I'm honest with myself, I didn't truly believe I'd get to the end. I think the disappointment of having to pull out of the Cleveland way last year um, knocked my confidence a little bit. And of course, you know, I've still got a long way to go and some difficult days of walking ahead. Um, and I'm far from reaching the end as things stand. But as each day has gone by, I felt my confidence increased little by little and more and more determined to actually get to the end. You know, it's so far, it's, this has just been an amazing experience. And, um, you know, one I'd recommend to anybody if it's something that you're physically able to do. Yes, it's remote. You can go miles and miles without seeing a single person, but the personal feelings of accomplishment that you get when you get to the end of each day, fantastic. Yesterday in particular, you know, I was buzzing. Um, one of the best days walking I've ever done, as I mentioned yesterday, and I'm rambling now, I know I am. So um, I think it's time to uh, tidy up and then get back on the way to Middleton in Teesdale. I really loved that. It's 
So one of the signs that I've been spending too much time alone as I've been walking the Penan Way is that random things just pop into my mind. So I was thinking what well, I'm eight and a half days into the Penan Way. I've had what about eight cup breakfasts and countless grenade bars to help get me here. Yet I could get here to where I am now from where I live in the car in about two hours. <laughs> I know which is the most enjoyable way of getting here though. It's definitely this one. What a weather day it's turned into again today. I didn't think yesterday's sunny weather would be beaten, but I think today it's probably even warmer. And guess which idiot forgot to put sun cream on today. I've done so well all week, um, but I had to rush to be ready for the taxi to take me up to Tan Hill this morning. So I'll be regretting that later, no doubt, when I get in the shower. <laughs> I've been desperate to put my feet up for five. This trailer will have to do. <laughs> so I bought one of these in Gargrave. I thought I'd give it a go today. It's another one of these protein things that's doubles up as a chocolate chip cookie. The question is, will it taste any better than those horrific grenade bars? One thing I'm fairly certain of is it won't taste as nice as a proper chocolate filled cookie. <laughs> So, what's the verdict on the cookie then? It's a no from me, I'm afraid. It tastes exactly like a grenade bar. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to my pizza tonight even more now. Three and a half miles to go. I think the little um, honesty tuck shop place there that I've just passed, I think that might be the first one I've seen on the Panama. Way. I'm fairly sure when I watched um, Dean Reed's series of Penang Way videos that you could actually go inside that building and make yourself a cup of tea etc but it doesn't look like it's open so I'm wondering whether they've had to kind of uh, keep it closed for the time being due to Covid. If only I'd not had that um, horrendous protein cookie, I might have been tempted to buy something from there. <laughs> oh, what a fantastic view spot. That um, rest break to take the shoes and socks off on the back of that trailer came at just the right time. Uh, I was really flagging at that point. My feet were tired. It's amazing what just having 10 minutes resting does. I do feel re-energised. So uh, I've just got to kind of find or maintain that energy for the next two and a half miles, hopefully. <laughs> Gorgeous up here though. Well, that was a nice surprise. I've literally not seen anybody on the trail all day since um, I met that couple right at the start of the day when I was just descending down from Tan Hill. Um, I've just bumped into a, um, a, a lady who I paths have crossed a few times over the last couple of days. I think I saw her yesterday around Keld but uh, I was just resting and she went uh, bobbing on into the distance. But we've just been having a good 10 minute chat. Um, she was telling me she's section hiking the Pennine Way. She joined it at Gargrave um, and is making her way up to Bellingham. But I know I said this yesterday, it's true what they say. The, you know, the people that you meet along the way and the stories that they share with you really do add to the whole experience of the Pennine Way. It's great to meet these folk. I'm assuming that's Middleton in Teesdale and home for the night. 
so I think that must be the route for tomorrow. It's fantastic. So this is the end of the Pennine Way for me today. Path goes down there tomorrow. But I've just got a short walk now into Middleton in Teesdale to find my lodgings for tomorrow. And relax. So I've made it to Middleton in Teesdale and the Foresters Hotel. So it's been another fantastic day on the Pennine Way. Uh, just under 17 miles uh, in, to in total today. Um, gorgeous weather once again. I've been very lucky these last three days. Long may this good weather continue. So I've set the video uh, from yesterday's walk uh, to upload. I've had barely any phone signal again all day. Um, and there's no phone signal in Middleton in Teesdale at the Wi-Fi speed or the upload speed in this um, hotel are shocking. So it will be a late one, unfortunately. Um, what it does mean, though, because I have got Wi-Fi, it does mean that I can edit today's walk and get that uploaded overnight so it's on, hopefully, around the usual time. So, right, first step is to go and get in that shower. I'll probably cry when the water hits my sunburnt neck. Um, once I've had a shower, it's straight over to Ozzy's Pizza um, to sample one of those and then back here, feet up, and I need to recover. I've got back to back 20 mile days. In fact, the days for the remainder of the walk are fairly long, so I need to recover as best I can and get myself ready to go again in the morning. Thanks as always for watching. Um, we've got a fantastic day ahead tomorrow, so great places to visit, so I'm really looking forward to that. Okay, I'll see you then. Bye for now.